Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Thank you very much for taking time out to watch me do what I do. So, as you can see, um, I have an eye look going on at the moment. As you can tell by the title of this video, today is really about Huda Beauty. Yes, Huda Beauty released a new eyeliner. This is called the Life Liner Quick and Easy. And this dropped on the 17th of August and I had to cut me one right away. Even though I do have the Makeup by Mario liquid liner as well. So in today's video, we will be reviewing the Huda Beauty liquid liner and also comparing it to the Makeup by Mario um, liquid liner as well. They're both in black. So, and they both have claims that seem to supersede other liquid liners out there. And to also just to compare strokes, I will be comparing it with the previous Life Liner from Huda Beauty and see how they actually compare. I won't be comparing what my eyes because I'm actually going to do a versus between the Makeup Mario um, liquid liner as well. Let's get into it. As you can see in the packaging, it's typical Huda Beauty form where it's a black packaging and the Huda Beauty with the white and pink writing. The colour of this liquid liner is called Very Vanta, which means extreme black. Well, it has extreme black in brackets um, where it says is very vanta. The hosting material is very streamlined and very pencil like which I really like compared to the Makeup by Mario which is in white and you have the Makeup by Mario at the top and you have the Huda Beauty along the side. In the Huda Beauty you have 0.03 fluid ounces the Makeup by Mario has 0.04 fluid ounces. So they're just not too far from each other in regards to how much product you get. Ooh, oh she fine. So this is the nib of the Huda Beauty. As you can tell, it's very slim and very fine. Just wanna read some claims about the Huda Beauty Life Liner. Hoodie -woody -woody. Uh, Huda Woody. <laughs> On the Huda Beauty website, it claims that it's an easy to apply one-sided liquid liner um, with a super thin 0.03 millimeter brush tip that deposits a continuous amount of product for a precise one swipe application. Perfect for everyone from beginners to graphic liner pros. The super, super fine, firm but flexible brush tip gives you a maximum control and the high pigment, extremely black formula instantly dries matte and won't budge or flake but it's easy to remove. So those are the claims <laughs> from the Huda Beauty one. As you saw, you can see that the nib is very, very fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe Huda Beauty right here. So what I did is I started off thin and pressed it harder just to see if we can see precision. And then we have the Makeup by Mario, which has a slightly longer nib, but it's still fine and very nice. So we're just gonna swipe that alongside the the beauty one right here so i'm gonna start off light and then press harder so that's a bit of a <laughs> janky straight line and then we're gonna go into the oldie but goodie <laughs> life liner and um, again very vanta which is extreme black and we're just gonna use the liquid liner side of this as you can see this is more of a brush tip and it's kind of almost dry so we're just gonna swatch that on this end here Oh gosh, my swatches are really bad. I do apologize. As you can see, that one's quite old. So this is the previous liner called the Life Liner from Huda Beauty. The Life Liner Quick and Easy Makeup by Mario. So we've actually put them on almost, not at the same time, but a couple of seconds in between each one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that to dry. I can actually tell that they're all dry down at the moment, literally, not even like a couple of seconds. We're gonna leave that to set, and then I'm gonna try and wipe it off once I finish comparing the two and we'll see how easy it is as well. But at the moment, do a swipe test. Literally, not budging at all. Wow. <laughs> wow, so no mistakes there. As you can see, I have already done my eyes. Um, if you'd like to know how I achieve this eye look, please check my previous video. I'll put a card up here so that you can actually refer to that video. So we're gonna use the Huda Beauty one. Quick disclaimer, I'm not the best at doing eyeliners. I flicks whatever I'm not the best but I try my best to do what I can do so we're gonna go into this now I'm gonna start literally from the center here and work our way down should I get a small mirror okay so right off the bat as we saw from the, the swatch absolute pigment it's so fine that I can get through my little bitty lashes and get as close to my waterline as possible so as I said I started close to my lash line to get a nice kind of line which is really nice can you see that and I haven't had to shake it yet so we're still getting pigment so I'm gonna start 
Oh, it's so thin. It's so thin, so easy. It didn't drag or pull. I'm just gonna create my little triangle. As I said, I am not the best at doing liners. <laughs> that is me done. It was so easy, so quick to achieve this eye look. I didn't have to shake it or anything in order to get the pigment and the line filled in and everything else. It didn't take long to fill in the this outer area here. It just worked like a dream. It was just so easy, super easy. So with this one, I have used this before, but I didn't really do a video on it. Did I? No. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna use this on this side and I'm sure, let's start, let's start the same. Let's not be biased because I think Mario is coming for Huda. Who is coming for Mario? See, with this one, I'm not so confident to actually start this way. I feel like I have to draw it on because it's more of a felt tip rather than a brush tip. But it looks like this I, this one's gonna come out better than this one. <laughs> yeah, so much better. I'm working well with it now. I don't know. With Huda Beauty, it almost kind of feels intimidating. Maybe it's just this side. I feel like that is just stunning. Not bad at all. Again, literally close to the pen. Didn't have to shake it up to get this situation going. So what I'm gonna do is go do the rest of my base and then what we can do is actually talk about the Huda Beauty brush and compare the components a bit more with the Mario brush and the previous lifeliner that they have with the pencil end and the liquid end. So, I'll be right back. Hi guys, so I am back with my finished look um, after using the liners. I just put some lashes on and just to kind of like bring this look to life, but the liners are still there. I just slightly neaten them up with concealer when I was doing my base. It still looks good. It still looks good. And they have dried down pretty matte as in, I don't think these are actually budging at all. Just doing a little test and nope, nothing on the nails. So, as you can see, this is still here and I'm rubbing and they are not budging at all. So this was the previous life liner um, that Huda Beauty launched however long ago. This is the life liner easy to use and this is the Makeup by Mario eyeliner. I'm just gonna grab a beauty, well not beauty wipe, but face wipe or cleansing wipe from Simple. New, it's west, wet, it's moist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe, swipe it down three okay and this is what we have you can see that lifeliner before it's still there it's still very much there and it's not budging so I'm gonna wipe off again and you can see the makeup of Mario is gone but the previous lifeliner is still going strong it's not going anywhere like I'm still going at it I feel like Huda Beauty has actually succeeded with the new easy to use liner. It does actually come off. When I did actually first place it, it was actually matte and it did not budge. It did not budge with anything. I, as you saw, I used my finger to rub it in and it wasn't budging at all, which is great. The second part of it to be easy to remove has proven that fact. The whole time I did my face, I did not wipe it off. I did not add to it. It kind of just sat there until I use the makeup wipe to remove both of them off. So this one and the makeup by Mario Lifeline, oh, Lifeliner, the makeup by Mario Liner does actually stay matte and it comes off very easily. I just wanted to kind of like write my name and show you how easy, I don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, that's my name. <laughs> and I was able to use that using the Huda Beauty liner. I'm gonna just go into the Makeup by Mario. So the nib is not as flexible. It's not as flexible, but you can still see that I'm able to get precision from both of them. I think that's actually gonna cute. Yep, they're both dry. And they haven't rubbed off. I guess you can just go in 
and wipe them both off. This Huda Beauty Life Liner is very easy to use, very precise, has a very fine nib. I almost want to say it has a brush tip, kind of get that easy glide to create your liner effect. So you can also use this for graphic liner. I'm sure you can use the Mario one as well. I would actually recommend it. It retails for £16. I believe the Makeup by Mario retails for £19. But this is the end of this video, very short and sweet. I hope you like the end look of this face. If you like to see how I achieved this look, you can check out my previous video. But thank you guys for watching. I hope um, I've been able to help you in regards to whether or not you should purchase this liner or not, but it's absolutely simple and easy. Absolutely stunning. And I'm sure when I wash my face straight after this video, it will come off very easily. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribers, thank you very much for coming back. New subbies, welcome to the family. Yes, welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you won't be a stranger. Don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and also hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching guys. Toodles! <laughs>